All right, guys, in this video, we are searching the jungles of Thailand for one of the most bizarre insects on the planet, the acid spraying violin beetle, in an effort to see if it's truly as dangerous as the local legends say. Let's get searching. Not only are they super unique looking, they are enormous and they possess a very dangerous defense mechanism. The violin beetle has the power to secrete and spray acid, which can make you go blind. And we're going to catch one. We just started our search here and we've already come across something really crazy looking. Check this out. Hold on tight if you have arachnophobia. That is a huge golden orb weaver. Wow. That is a giant one. Walk onto my hand. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh boy. Watch out, Mark. He's on your back. That's nerve wracking. Where is he now? He's, he's on the back. Right on your backpack. Right on the middle of your backpack. Yep. Okay. Gently. Be careful. He's coming back up. Yep. He's climbing back up now. Okay. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Whoa. Look at the size of that spider, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now, is he dangerous at all? These spiders possess a really painful bite. Luckily for me, though, it takes a lot to agitate them enough to get a chomp. So if I just handle it carefully, I'll be just fine. Wow, what a spider. Are you kidding me? Look at the size. This is the biggest golden orb weaver spider I've ever seen. Well, this is a really good sign that we're on the right track. Up next, hopefully we find that giant insect that we're after. Right, let's put this spider back. Keep moving up the stream. Ugh. These violin beetles are really good at hiding. Prefers darkness, tight crevices near water. So we are in the perfect spot to start our search. Crevices of rocks, fallen trees, and in between sheets of fungus, actually. All right, hey, uh, Andrew, I'm gonna try to flip this log, see okay. what's underneath this. Do you have a good feeling about this spot? Uh, well, big, big ant nest, huge ant nest. Where? Up top, right by your right, hand, right, watch oh. out. Oh, ah, oh, got me. Mm. Oh, first thing in Thailand, got nailed by some piece of some kind of fire ant. Yeah, they definitely sting. Look at that, geez. Lit me up. All right, gotta do that. Oh, monkey. Guys, bring your cameras over here. So oh, cool. Look at this. Oh yeah. It's a monkey. He's hanging out. You guys hear that? The monkey's in the background making an alarm call. So we do have to keep our wits about us. Oh, cool. This jungle is home to leopards, bears, and even on occasion, a tiger. Water, like the stream, is rare. And during the dry season, it's drawing in some things that can be super hazardous to myself and the crew. We wanna find big overhangs. These violin beetles are enormous. Uh, so they're gonna prefer much larger spaces than say like a little crevice like this rock here. Let's go into this tree. Not seeing enough fungus. Do you wanna see fungus, smell fungus? It should be damp. That is where these insects spend almost the majority of their lives, except for their larval stage where they'll actually live in the water. Oh, right there. Look at that. Hey guys, I got a crab. Crab? Ah, uh -uh. cool. These are little forest crabs out here. And I bet they can pinch pretty good. Ah, yeah, they can pinch pretty good. Mm, yep, yep, yep. Ow, 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 gosh, it got me the worst spot. That's, mm, come on, buddy. Let go of me, let go of me. Here, just, what if I just, ah, ah, come on, yes. I'm gonna hold it just like this. Didn't draw any blood, but man, that pinched really good. These crabs are all up and down the stream bed. Kind of looks like a shore crab that you'd find in a tide pool. Not used to seeing crabs near a stream. There are a lot of them out here. Look at that. See all that purple underneath its legs? Let's put this crab back. See you, buddy. Find any more wildlife, this is a good sign. I feel like we're honing in on those violin beetles. See this fungus? This is exactly what we're looking for. These kind of logs with fungus growing on them are the perfect habitat for the violin beetle. This is exactly what they like. See anything? No. The rest of the team found something, we're on our way. red-tailed racer. All right, you guys rolling? We're rolling. Okay. Looks like it's gonna stay put if I just... Oh, oh. Turn Careful back on. Mark. It's okay, it's okay. 
They're not venomous, but they are bitey. Stay back. See if I can just get it out of this tree. Oh, oh man. See him biting me? Can right, my snake look at Got it. See if we can calm down. All right. There we go. That was intense. Definitely turned around and struck him a few times. Luckily, this is a non-venomous species of snake. It looks almost like a, uh, a green mamba in a way. So there's like a part of my brain that's like, don't get bit by the snake. See that? See it striking? Look how it's flattening out its neck. The more calm I am, the more calm the snake will be. Pretty rare to come across one of these racers because typically they're found much higher up in the canopies, hunting for anything that it could fit in its mouth. We're talking lizards, frogs, and even birds. I just had to take this opportunity to present this beautiful snake up close like this. We've got an audience of monkeys right overhead that are probably looking at me like I'm crazy. And all the things I've seen in Thailand so far, this is by far the coolest find. We're getting close. I can feel it. This is exactly the environment we need to search. See this uh, underhang? I'm gonna get my flashlight out and I'm gonna get up under there. I have a feeling this is the perfect spot to find what we're looking for today. You see something, Mark? Oh, oh my goodness. Guys, I got them. You can see them? Oh yeah, man, they are weird. Oh my goodness. There's about eight of them and did you say eight of them? There's about eight of them. They're all hugged up underneath this stump or this log here. And I feel like if I can just get my jar on top of them, I'm gonna have a good chance of getting it into an area we can film it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. That's not working. Are they moving around in there? Yeah, they're fast. They're really fast. This is a lot more challenging than I thought. Oh. You guys smell that? Smell that jar. Ooh. That's the smell of the acid they spray. That is pungent. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need to use my sunglasses. If I get sprayed in the eye, this is, one of the real dangers of this animal is if you get it in your eyes, the locals down here say that you can go blind. So, I'm just gonna wear these sunglasses. I'm just gonna have to grab one. That one right here. Just wanna try to get the catch. This is gonna be gnarly. Got one. Got one. Got him. Got it. Get in the jar. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Woo! All right. We got it, guys. Woo, yeah. And it was already secreting that defense mechanism. All right, let's, uh, let's get into an area where we can get this violin bug in a little bit better light so you can see why this is one of the strangest insects in the entire world. All right, it's time to get a closer look at the violin beetle, Thailand. Luckily there's more where this came from, but I wanna try to be gentle. There we go. Look at that. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Have you ever in your life seen anything like that. I mean, you could clearly see why it gets its name, the violin beetle, shaped like a violin. And those wings on the sides of the body there are somewhat translucent, giving it this lacquer-like appearance. So I would say it's accurately described. Now, they do come in a couple different color varieties. This one is the toffee brown color, I'm trying to handle it with the utmost care. They have a very potent defense mechanism where they can actually secrete and even spray butyric acid. I can smell it. Oh, it's definitely all inside the jar. It almost reminds me of like smelling salts. It's very pungent, like makes your eyes water. You can imagine if you were sprayed with a mouthful or an eyeful of that, you'd immediately turn the other direction and run away. Now you may be asking yourself, looking at the size of this insect, Mark, is that as big? as it grows? Actually, no, they can get up to double the size. Now, 
getting a closer look. Oh, whoa. Now, do you know where they spray their acid from? They secrete the acid from the abdomen. And my guess is from underneath. I'm actually gonna try to pin the beetle so we can see the underside and maybe we can see it spray. See that abdomen right there? So it likely secretes that butyric acid right from the back of the abdomen. Yep. Mm. And that, whoa. Oh, oh, well, it's got okay? a huge waft of it, yeah. Oh. But I also want to show you, look at this. Look at the center thorax of this beetle. It's got like serrated edges. It almost looks like a knife on both sides of it. It's super bizarre and menacing. That head and neck elongated. It's like a giraffe almost. Kind of looks like a ass giant assassin bug meets a cockroach meets a mantis. This is truly the territory of bizarre insects. Easily the most unique looking insect that I've ever held. Welcome to Thailand, am I right? Now you can see it has very long antenna. It's gonna be using those as sensories to navigate through the environment. And you can see how flat it is. Look at how flat its body is. It's specifically designed to fit between bark and bracketed fungus. Between those two beady little eyes and those long horned antenna, there's a set of jaws in the center of the face. These violin beetles are great predators. It doesn't seem to be too dangerous, but you never can be too careful when you're dealing with exotic insects in uncharted territory. How about that? I would call that a very successful adventure out here in Kankrachan National Park in Southwest Thailand, coming across what is, in my opinion, the most bizarre insect on the planet, the violin beetle. All right, let's put the beetle back under the log and head home.